Welcome to Crystal Clear Ideas. I am so excited about today's video. As an educator, education and supplemental help at home is very important to me. And so I'm always trying to come up with different ideas of how you can supplement your child's education at home and help them to work on things that they may be struggling with. One of my ideas that I have used many times is the making of the Kaboom game. It's very simple. This here is actually a pack of jumbo craft sticks that I purchased from Walmart. It was about $2.50. You get 75 craft sticks in here and I utilize them kind of like flashcards, but a little bit better because they're a little more durable. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to use these jumbo craft sticks and use them for any subject, any idea to help your child learn independently or with you. Alright, so let's get started. So once you have the craft sticks, I actually have a pack that's already open here. One thing I really love about these jumbo packs is that they are, um, they come pre-sealed. So once you go ahead and rip off the part here, you can still close them up and you can use these to save them. Here on the back I have scriptures. Scriptures Kaboom on the back because once I'm done with the game I can put them back in here the sticks and make sure that I have the opportunity to pull them and use them as I need them. Now since I have some sticks here already I'm going to show you with a little bit of an example what I get a chance to do. So I actually purchased from the Dollar Tree some permanent markers. You don't need anything fancy, just the little thing that you can, just whatever you can find, you can use that and help you to help you create this game. So I'm going to use the black. One thing I really love about this Kaboom game is the versatility. If you have a younger child who's learning the alphabet or you want them to be able to recognize letters, you can actually use these and write the letters on the side. You also can use it with older kids who are learning uh, to read. Maybe you're using sight words and you're putting them on there. You can also use it with children who are struggling in math. Maybe you can write down a addition fact. Or maybe you can write down a multiplication fact. Or maybe you can write down a division fact. You also can use it to um, write down scriptures. So if you are trying to memorize a scripture, you can use it that way. So whatever it is that you're working on, a date, um, you're studying to um, get better in your math, for reading, for any subject, science, you can actually put it here on the side of the craft stick. Now, you don't have to write it with a permanent marker if that's not feasible for you. You can also type it out, print it, and tape it to the end of the craft stick. Especially if you have questions, you can actually have the question here, and your goal is to have the other person, or even you yourself, come up with the answer. The reason the game is called Kaboom is because once you finish completing all the sticks that you want to write your facts on, your questions, whatever it is that you want to remember, a few of the sticks are going to have the word Kaboom on it. So I have two sticks here, so I'm going to write the word Kaboom on both of these sticks. Now, how you play the game is that you put all of these sticks inside of a cup. Now this is the cup that I'm using but you can use whatever cup you'd like. And the reason this is great is because this can be played individually or as a family. If you're playing it as a family what you would do is each person would have a turn and they would pick a stick. 
So if I pull the stick 1 plus 5 and I say 6 and I get the answer correct, I'll get a chance to hold on to the stick. If I get it incorrect, I will put the stick back into the kaboom cup. Then it would be the next person's turn. Whomever holds the most sticks at the end of the game is the winner. There is a curveball. You could pull a stick that has the word kaboom on it. If you pull the stick that has the word kaboom, this stick as well as all the other sticks that you've collected go back into the kaboom cup and you start all over again. Now this is a quick way to help your child or even you yourself to learn certain things, to memorize things, or to grasp certain concepts. Um, it can be played independently because you can make sure that whenever you get a chance, you draw a kaboom stick. Psalms 83.18 talks about God's name. This is the letter A. So you can pull a stick. And one fun fact that I really love about these craft sticks is that you can turn it over and write another sight word, multiplication table, whatever it is on the back. So now you can make the game even more difficult by having the individuals who draws the stick answer both sides of the stick before it being correct. I hope you guys get a chance to try it. Play with your children 15 minutes at the end of every day to help them increase their literacy, their math skills, to be able to be successful in any subject that they're struggling with, and stay tuned for more creative ideas from Crystal Clear Ideas.